Real Fishing Videos, brought to you by Polaroid. Captain Dick's Marina in Merle's Inlet. Enjoy a morning or afternoon fishing for sea bass. Or join us for a day-long Gulf Stream fishing adventure, angling for snapper, grouper, triggerfish, and others. Captain Dick's provides rods, reels, bait, and tackle everything you'll need. When Merle's Inlet's own Mickey Spillane invited the Nashville Network's Crook and Chase for some deep sea fishing, they came to Captain Dick's. You should too. Scenic and dinner cruises also available. Call Captain Dick's today, 651-3676. Striking headed your way. This is what we do every day in the Coast Guard. What's your position, striking? Four hours to high tide. Attacking spills and pollution is just one of the real missions we tackle. The oil is contained. Can I say again, the oil is contained. Okay, strike team, wrap it up. Be part of the action in the Coast Guard. Call now, toll free. Hi, I'm Paul Byrne. Welcome to Real Fishing Videos. I've really enjoyed living here in Merle's Inlet. For a number of years, I've been able to wake up and listen to some of the party boats like this one behind me crank up their motors and get ready for another exciting day out in the ocean. I especially like living here in the inlet because I can take my family and I enjoy flounder fishing and spot tail fishing near the jetties and just having a good time here in the inlet. Here at Captain Dick's Marina, they've been gearing up for another springtime full of great fishing when they can get out. There's been some good catches of black sea bass and snapper and grouper. And some of the commercial boats have even brought in a few kings. They're about 35, 40 miles out. This past year, I had a chance to cover the North Carolina Governor's Cup Billfish Conservation Series out of North Carolina. And the footage you're about to see is some that I did on the Daddy's Choice, a great sport fishing boat. And the crew was especially nice to me, letting me on board. I enjoyed very much meeting the crew of the Daddy's Choice and being with other crews, including the Miss Jan out of North Myrtle Beach, and of course the pretty work which has contributed to this footage that we've had, and to the Rebecca Ann, which gave us some of their footage of the tournament, and they were the second place winner. I'd like to also say something about the different types of fishing that are going on. Mostly, fishing right now is for offshore, bottom fishing. It's really great this time of year, and you'll have a chance to go out. In fact, one of the first times I ever went out was on a party boat like this one behind me, and it's a great way to introduce yourself to some great offshore fishing. I'd also like to thank the people that have contributed already to this program by calling me. So be sure to call or write Real Fishing Videos, P.O. Box 248, Merle's Inlet, South Carolina, 29576. Enjoy the show. Now that's an old time shot. Where'd you get that? I picked that up at an antique store in Riceville Beach. It's an old uh, sailfish postcard. That's a beauty. It is. You know, it's been a long time since you and I did a tag and release uh, marlin tournament. Well, four years, I guess. Yeah, and it was a lot of fun, too. Yeah, hey, we could have something down there. Yeah, yes, we did. In fact, it was because of some of the efforts that we did back in 86 that now more and more tournaments up and down the coast are doing tag and release marlin tournaments. I heard you were on that winning boat up there in North Carolina. Yeah, I sure it was. Did you have a little camera with you? Hey, I sure did. I want you to check out this footage right here. Yeah, let's see it. In fact, we were on the boat with a daddy choice out of Frightful uh, during the Cape Fear Marlin Tournament, and it was a beautiful day. My gosh, I was out there for four days straight, and that was one of the prettiest days. See, some people have all the money. Mickey, this was the fourth day of fishing in, in the tournament. Last day of fishing, and uh, that's Captain Bruce Lisk aboard the daddy's choice. They were last year's winner, by the way. It was pretty. Beautiful, beautiful. You guys know what a fish is, or his luck is pretty sensational. Yeah, well, I'll tell you what, when we were on the way back... What I said, what a fish is, it's where the fish are. Yeah. Crazy, this is a 
You know what? Right. I think that you need you need to be on that boat right there. Well, I would love to have been there. You you what feel you got that right. That is the uh probably one of the biggest boats in the area. It's it's a fifty five foot birch from I believe. And we're about ready. Oh, I guess we're about sixty miles out now. How deep is the water? Mm, I believe it's uh, at least 180 feet, maybe more. You were on the stream there, Yeah, we were out there. We were actually beyond the stream several times. There you go. There you go. Oh, it was beautiful. Beautiful day. once and you saw that and then it jumped again another 600 yards off absolutely incredible that's howard uh father right there howardless senior what is he yeah he's fishing and that's uh howard jr was walking up last jerry is right behind he's he's usually working the lines and putting out the baits now we've been working that fish for about uh, 45 minutes on that shot. Yeah, this is a tough fight. I don't like that other fish that size, huh? Did they have any intentions of tagging this one? And releasing? Oh yeah, they released most all the fish. In fact, no, no uh, marlin had been brought to the dock yet. And this was the last day of fishing, of course. Uh, we were hoping that it would, it would meet eligibility, you know. Uh, we weren't sure exactly the size of the fish, but as you can see, when it came up to the boat, it was well over the size limits. Right here was just as big, Mickey. Dude, that's amazing. 
Nobody knows who's winning at this point.
share it instantly. Nothing works like Polaroid. chance to cover the Big Rock Marlin Tournament in June last year. And on the waterfront in Moorhead City is a great person that I met, Captain Tom Towton. He has a sport fishing boat, a charter boat, beside the Sanitary Restaurant on the waterfront. And he's been fishing there quite a few years. In fact, he's one of the oldest charter fishermen in the area. He specializes in offshore fishing for marlin, tuna, wahoo, and especially dolphin. There's plenty of those kind of fish. Not porpoise like flipper, but dolphin fish, a great sport fish and a real delicious fish too. In fact, we had a chance to talk to him about the different kinds of fishing that he's had and had a chance to prepare the kind of fish that I enjoy the most, dolphin. So I'm sure you'll agree, from the dock to the kitchen is really fun. We'll see you next week. And I, the first trip I made, I, I fished offshore, went offshore. I've been going offshore ever since. I fished primarily for wahoo, tuna, and marlin, but primarily for wahoo. I love to catch wahoo, and a lot of people down here tell me that I catch more wahoo than anybody else. This trip south in about 1960, it's the first sailfish I ever caught. This was a group of my friends, and uh, I don't remember the names, but... Uh, Ben Day and I caught this sailfish, and that, that was one of the first billfish that uh, that I caught aboard Tom and Jerry. I had it mounted, and it's still in my office in Durham right now. And uh, let's see, let's go on to another one. This one right here. Okay, this is uh, quite a story behind this. This gentleman is from Shaker Heights, Ohio. I cannot, can't remember his name right now, but he came down here one day, and and the people that he was going with, they had a, a problem with the boat at the yacht basin, and so he sent a chauffeur over here and wanted to know if I could catch him a big fish. And I said, talk to Ben, and then we decided that we could, we'd try. So we left about seven o'clock that morning. We ran out to the continental edge, which is now the ground of Big Rock, and within about 30 minutes, we had this marlin on. It took us about four hours to get out there, 30 minutes we had him on and about 35 40 minutes we had him in the boat and he says captain that's it let's go home so we turned around and came home and he was forever grateful and it, i'll tell you ben day was running my boat and he was captain of the boat and i was working the stern and uh ben was a good man he, he could really catch the marlin so this man fished for me many years until he passed on he's he's no longer with us but he really enjoyed that and it was quite a trip they worked for me at that time and so help me i can't remember his name it was back in 1960 but it was the second sailfish that we caught aboard the tom and jerry it was a real nice big fish it weighed uh, six feet uh, four inches long and we had quite a time getting him in but he was very proud of him and uh it was a second sailfish and we were really excited about it it was a nice big sail